one of your videos reaches more people than any of the public. I heard you any say of that. All the papers yeah. I've ever well, published, for... anybody's ever read, yes. right? Like it's, it's kind of, <laughs> it's, it's really just, it's really amazing. I mean, it, it is just totally cool and amazing. And so I, amazing, but probably depressing a little bit too, because you put a lot of work into yeah, your research. I mean, but I, they serve different purposes, right? Uh, so I, that, but again, but it's just amazing. The reach is just kind of unbelievable. So on that, on that no, I kind of have a question now that we're coming back to YouTube a little bit. Like you strike me as somebody who loves to learn. How have you experimented with your YouTube content? Like I saw, I forget which video, maybe it was a recent one where I, you were, you were, you know, you're out in the field, you're recording video, and then you kind of turn to the car hood and you had a, you know, sketch drawn on the car hood. And then you kind of go back to the outcrop and you kind of go back and forth. And that struck me. It just really reminded me of teaching field geology courses like that is something you do in field geology right you, you say here's the outcrop look at this then turn to my little notebook i've gotten drawn or my whiteboard i've drawn and then go back and let students look at the outcrop is that something you've experimented with how has your youtube teaching methodology changed i don't think it's changed a lot i think there's been some like improvements um this is embarrassing but if you watch the old death valley ones you'll see that I'm in the frame the whole time. Like the, I have the camera selfie stick out at arm's length and my head is in the entire video because I didn't know anything about the YouTube world and all the kind of whatever videos I watched beforehand, that's what I saw as I saw a talking head. And so I thought I had to do that. And at some point after I did those Death Valley ones, I had a viewer say, hey, you know, you don't need to show us your head the whole time. You can show us the rocks. <laughs> and I'm like, that's brilliant. Because that, I don't want to be in that. I don't want to be yeah, in the yeah. shot anyway. And so really just funny. like, I mean, stuff like that that should have been obvious. And I probably would have figured out at some point anyway. But like the viewers have been very helpful with their comments about ways to improve. Like whether or one thing I'm awful at, because I'm very kind of like animated and energetic is like, I'll, I'll turn the camera on and then I'm swinging it back and forth. And if you look over there, you'll see this. And then look at that over there. And people are like, you were making a seasick. Like we were it's very Blair Witch Project this. or something like it, that. You know? Right. And so I'm still not great at it, but like, okay, That's the funny. slow pan. So what's interesting is when you do these videos is you're the actor, you're the director, you're the camera operator, you're the producer, you're the, the sound person, you're the script writer, like, it's all me out there by myself. I almost never have anyone with me. And so in terms of like the diagrams and stuff, I just always think like, is there a way, and I'm not a good artist, I'm a terrible artist, but I'm like, is there some way to just make a sketch that will help reinforce that? And so I'll take a minute and draw something and just try to show that. If it's, I think the one you maybe saw was like, um, I think it was Split Mountain. Yes, it was, that's right, um, it was Split Mountain. Yep, yeah, I and mean, it's beautiful. I, I, I loved it because I thought, this is, it just reminded me of being in a field geology class where you're, you know, students look at this pointing there and then turn to the sketch that simplifies it and then go back and look at it. It just reminded me of, of, you know, sitting in a field geology class It was amazing. I, I loved it. So I was wondering how much that iterated, but that seems like it comes natural. So, I mean, but it's different than if the three of us go on like a geology conference field trip, then it's like, oh, we got to plot the geologic map and that's not going to work as well with, with the viewers, not just visually, but like it, it's too much such technical information. So what's a cartoon, a block diagram, a cross section that can show how this process or this feature comes to be. And so I don't think they've changed too much. I've edited a little bit more. I'm a little more aware of like how the finished product looks. And so I think there is slow improvement, but I, I stand behind all the old ones, even though they're cringy. I'm like, that's good content. <laughs> yeah. I'm excited. We I'm, could relate. I'm explaining it well, right? You guys, same thing <laughs> with your know. podcast. I, right? I might like, not you, stand by <laughs> some oh, yeah. of the early ones. They're pretty, pretty right. bad audio content. To ep <laughs> yeah. What is Chris and Jesse episode one? Like, Ooh, how, it's you know, rough. oh my gosh, it's, it's, it's so rough. rough. Yeah, yeah. It's rough. real it's, rough. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I want kind of, I kind of, you guys should keep those, right? Keep those in your archives. Just like I keep those old videos as like a reminder, like, hey, that's where I was. That's when I had a hundred subscribers and I was elated oh, yeah. to just be out oh, yeah. there doing it. Yeah. And so, yeah, <laughs> it's great. Sean, um, I want to ask you about the, inter the, the struggle to where's the line in terms of how deep do you go? Um, how complex do you get? Like, I mean, this is something that Jesse and I, uh, we, we battle this all the time, really. Do you, do you have the same struggles, you know, how, like for like making the videos on a topic or whatever? 
Yeah. Yeah. How, how in depth do you go? Because, you know, you're not touching really the depth of your knowledge in this, you're communicating it to everybody out there. So there's, it's, I find that to be a very difficult thing in terms of, you know, bringing it down to a level that's understood by the masses rather than the few. And it's just such a fine line. Yeah, no good point. I think for me, I just, I think about the story first, like what's kind of like Jesse said at the beginning, like, give me your, your thesis in a paragraph, in a sentence, in, you know, maybe not down to five words, but, you know, so succinctly, what does this, and outcrops are easy because like, okay, here, what is this outcrop telling us? What, what information do we have? And so, um, so for me, it's starting with like the story. If I think there's something cool here, it could be a process, it could be a landscape and knowing, okay, I'm going to probably do this in 10 to 15 minutes. So I, I'm not going to try to cover everything. You know, if I'm looking at like the one I just did down in Northern Nevada was like spheroidal weathering in granite. So I didn't spend, even though I could have spent time looking at the mineralogy of the rocks and talking about, you know, textures and granodiorite and why there's magma even there. So what's, what's the topic? What's, what's the focus? And then, and then just, yeah. And, and what's the easiest way to explain this? Like sh show them the outcrop. So usually it's showing them the feature. And then going maybe to the the clipboard or the diagram or whatever, um, I'm pretty. I don't know. Maybe I'm just simple minded. I I often don't get distracted by if there's more if there's more topics and a bigger story there. I will tend to break it into chunks. And I've gone to one location and done four videos, but on four different things. Okay, now let's look at this rhyolite lava flow. And there's a video. Okay, in part one you saw this. Now in part two, we're going to look at this other thing over here. And so, yeah, for me, I don't know, I guess I'm not, I've hardly ever been like blown away with like, oh, this is so complicated. How am I going to do this? Because I think maybe I just have a good sense for, or maybe I'm just a simpleton of just, here's, here's the, here's the, the story. Here's the most compelling geologic feature or story at this location. And I'm going to tell that, and I'm not going to try to give them the whole 4.5 billion years at this location in in one yeah video. i think that's a it's an interesting way to think about it from the the sort of rock uh, from an outcrop it, you know it, it kind of narrows your focus by definition as it should right it's sort of on this what do these rocks tell us very conservatively maybe um so how, how shauna are you going to what's your plans for the youtube channel i mean what what can viewers sort of expect from you in the future I mean, kind of, I mean, I've kind of added a few series that they start out with all these field vid based videos. Uh, the school even gave me, here's something crazy. I got last year, last fall, I was on sabbatical and my project that I pitched to the college as a sabbatical was traveling around the West and making YouTube field based videos. And the president said, yes, that sounds like a great idea. Oh, that's idea. amazing. So I got a whole semester off of teaching. Um, so I think I'll continue to keep doing the field-based videos, but then I've added things like little interview series. I've interviewed Rachel and some of these other people, uh, different scientists. I want to keep doing that. I want to maybe add different careers. Um, so I need to, you know, I'm kind of stuck by myself as the sole geologist or I need to find a mining geologist and a environmental hydrogeologist. And it'd be fun to like bring some of those in. And I think that would be of interest to both the viewers, but also like students. And then I've just built these little kind of playlists or series. There's random road cuts. So that's like the easiest video of all. So it's like, um, stop at a road cut you've never seen or hardly seen before and just get out, roll the tape and make observations and walk the viewer through what you're seeing. And then hopefully come up with some viable interpretations of, of what you're oh, seeing. That's, nice. that's Those are easy. Those are easy. Cause you don't need any, you don't have any, not, you don't need any knowledge ahead of time. There's no diagram. We're not diagramming anything. There's no visuals here. I don't know. I didn't even hold these rocks are, you know, I'm just pulling over on the side of the road. But that's like uh, how a geologist thinks, you know, how, how, how to think yeah. like a geologist. That's, that's yeah. really, I like exactly. that. That's a cool and, idea. And, and yeah. they're not like huge view videos, but they have like a real kind of cult following. Like people really love those because it's, it's what they're experiencing. They're out on little hikes and oh, walks totally. in their neck of the woods and they're working through that same process. So, um, yeah, I don't know. I think I'm going to do...